Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hello, hello, hello. When y'all come in, when you come to somebody's house, you need to speak to them. How is everybody doing this afternoon? Uh, let me get y'all up. Son. Hello, hello. I don't see no comments. I know y'all here. Hello, hello. Why the angry faces? Hello, Deborah. Hello, Denise. Lisa, hello. I am good, Lisa. Sharon, hello. Hello, Alita, Earl, Patsy, Diane, hello, thank you for the stars, Diane, Georgia, hello, Loretta, hello, Ruth, hello, I'm late getting started this afternoon, y'all, I guess had too much of birthday celebration, but I'm late getting started, uh, Hello, Maddie. Hello, Destiny. Claire, hello. Sundog, hello. Lisa, hello. Vivian, hello. Blessings to you, Vivian. My light keeps sliding. Hello, Crystal. So, y'all, let me tell you, I got a couple of things going on today. First, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. For all the many birthday wishes I received. I mean, I really thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all really know how to make me so the internet ain't stop, fix, stop messing up. Hello, Dorothy. Okay, Dorothy, what I'm cooking today, I have uh, these short ribs here. And as you can see, I got mustard on them. So now I'm fixing to season them and get them into the oven. Thank you for the stars, Aaliyah. Thank you. Hello, Phyllis, Denise. So I'm fixing to season these short ribs and get them into the oven. I'm making a... Uh, I'm making an apple pie today, and I've already made my crust. Okay. Now, this is uh, about three pounds of uh, short ribs. 2.85, something like that. So, it's about three pounds. So, what you see on them now is mustard. Uh, and that's just to hold my seasonings on. So, now I'm going to season them. And this is my seasoning blend, uh, but you can season them with anything at all you want. Anything at all. Thank you so much, Sundog. Hello, Dorothy. Shannon. Vincetta, hello. Okay, let's go. Now... I do not have any salt in this at all. Nothing but seasonings. So you can, I can use it liberally because there's no salt. I think I'm going to transfer them in this bowl. Turn them down on that side. I'm just transfer them in another pan so I can season them on the other side. Okay. 
no salt, and this is all, so I can use quite a bit of it. I love this uh, seasoning here. And it's going to put a little crust. And that's it. Now I'm going to cover these up. These are going to have to cook. For around two hours. I'm glad we already had something to eat. Uh, hello, Vonda. Thank you, son, dog. Hello, Roy. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to visit me this evening. Welcome back. If you've been here before, and welcome to my new time visitors. Hello, Misty. Thank you for the stars. Okay, guys, so this is how they're looking. And you don't have to worry about tasting the mustard. You will not taste the mustard. And then, plus, I'm going to put sauce on these anyway. So let me get some foil and cover these. I'm going to let these cook with the foil for 25 minutes. Then after the 25 minutes is out, uh, up, I'm going to take them out and put the sauce on them and return them uh, back to the oven. Well, no, y'all, disregard that. I'm thinking about something else. I'm thinking about my apple pie. Okay, we just going to get these in the oven. Okay, how is everybody doing on this beautiful fall Sunday afternoon? Hello, Gloria, Lenora, Vonsetta. Yes, they are going to be delicious. Shannon, I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. Hello, Gloria. And y'all listen, I can't see all the comments. Hey, Homestyle Cooking with Miss Deb. How you doing? You finished cooking? I can't see all the comments, y'all. So if some of you who's been following me for a while, when y'all see questions, uh, y'all answer the newbies because I can't see them all. I'm not, it's not that I'm looking over anyone. I would never do that. But, uh... I'm trying to cook, and these comments go fast. They go real fast. So, okay, let's get the sauce made. Uh, I got my pie crust uh, resting in the refrigerator. I've already made my pie crust. Y'all have seen me make pie crust million times and more. So let's get this sauce for these ribs made. Y'all see that? Okay. Turn the burner on. Get me a spoon. Yeah, I had a wonderful birthday. I just feel so truly blessed. Okay, now I have one six-ounce can of uh, tomato paste, and I'm going to use the whole can. I'm going to use the whole can. Mm. Now, to that, I'm going to add two cups of chicken broth. Okay. Give that a 
Prosté. Now this is a fourth a cup of brown sugar, but as you can see, it's a heaping cup of uh, brown sugar. Uh, so that's going in. Now this is gonna cook. Don't think it's too it's too loose. No ma'am, it's not gonna get some. I don't need to stir in this pot with that spoon. Get a wooden spoon. I got this on medium high heat, but I'm going to turn it down. I'm just stirring it and stirring it. Okay, I'm fixing to add some Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce in y'all. I don't know how much. I'm just going to say a few squirts because I'm not... I'm not measuring. I'm just giving you the basics so you can make your sauce like you make it. I already smell good. Now, I will measure this. I'm going to add two tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar. That's the timer going off, letting me know my pie, because uh, I, I, I refrigerated my pies for an hour. Okay. One, two, I'm going to add three, because I like the tang from the vinegar. I'm just trying to uh, get my, um, oh goodness, get all that tomato paste. Uh, incorporated. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take a, add about three ounces of water in here. And it's just a half a can. No, oh, this ain't going to go down in there. And this is just a half of this uh, tomato can. This is a six ounce can. So I added three ounces of water. And I'm just getting everything out the can. Hello, Jody, Gwendolyn. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, Maria. There it goes. Let's give this a stir. And y'all, that's it. That is it. With the exception of my seasoning. And I'm going to put the same season I season that meat with. I'm putting it down in here. The rest of it. That's it. Gotta make some more. Oh, it smells good. How's everybody doing? Y'all enjoying this Sunday? We have a beautiful Sunday afternoon, but it's supposed to get cold. 
After the weekend, our cold weather is supposed to uh, set in. I'm just stirring to make sure all that tomato paste is dissolved down in there. Okay, so I'm gonna just let that go. Okay, y'all. So let me show y'all this. These are my green beans. I've already cooked them. Y'all see that? And these are what you call, oh, they smell good, Kentucky Wonder Beans. And back here I have some fried corn. And that's dinner. So now let me uh, get my pie stuff together here. Take y'all off this pole and put you back down so I can see. Hello, Linda. Hello, Lisa. Good afternoon to you. A blessed, beautiful family. My birthday's on the 29th. Oh, well, okay. Well, happy birthday, Betty. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hello, Nancy. Well, Miss Silmore, you can get a plate. <laughs> Good afternoon, Miss Smith. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get this pound away. Uh, let's move this back. Let me see. I got to go get my note. I'll be back, y'all. Okay, guys, let's get this pie made. I'm going to... Okay, guys, this is my bottom crust, and this is my top crust I got to roll out. I'm doing it in an actual pie plate this time. And it's nice and cold. That's it. So, here are my apples. I've got my apples soaking in lemon water. And uh, that's to keep them from turning brown. Hello, Patricia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Donna. Hello, Maurice. Hello, sun dog. Hey, Big Mo. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. To that that sounds good. Okay, let me drain these apples so I can get started. <clears throat> Hello, Linda. Hello, Carol. Thank you for the stars, Carol. Hello, Naomi. Bridget, hello. Okay, let me drain my apples, guys. Okay. Now... 
I'm going to put, uh-oh, smells so good. I'm going to put my uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice uh, on these first now that I've drained the, uh, the uh, water off. I don't want them to uh, turn brown on me. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, to put my lemon juice in it. And this is lemon juice that I squeeze. Oh, I see a lemon seed too. <laughs> Get the seeds out. I don't want the seeds in there. Okay. And this is, uh, I think, six apples that I cut up. Okay. Now I'm going to put a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of uh, white sugar. Now this is a uh, fourth of a cup, so I'm gonna have to use two. Okay, same thing with the white sugar. Fourth of a cup of each. What are y'all having for dinner today? What is everybody cooking? Save me a piece of what, Deborah? Oh, hey, Brittany, that's my niece there. What you ask me, what do I put in what? Oh, I didn't see it, Brittany. Try it again. I didn't see it. Hello, Nancy. Thank you so much, Billy. All right, a fourth of a cup of uh, white sugar. One. I mean, a half a cup, two. All right. Turn my sauce down, y'all. It's a boiling now. Oh, it smells good. I'm just going to let that simmer. Okay. Now, for your seasonings. You're going to put one uh, teaspoon of ground cinnamon. One teaspoon. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Do it smell good. All your fall spices. Smells smells so good, y'all. And <clears throat> two tablespoons of all purpose flour. One. Okay, and get me a spoon. Oh, this spoon too big. You know what? I'm gonna get me a glove and use my hand because I want all this coated. I want it all coated. Oh, it's 
may have smelled good. Yes, it does may have good. Mm. Oh, and you know what? Now, it, this this next uh, ingredient is entirely optional. Oh, Carol, that sounds good. Good evening, Linda. Yeah, that sounds real good. Okay, now, this is entirely optional, but I like the flavor of the vanilla and cinnamon and nutmeg together. It To me, it just kind of goes along with all those fall spices. So, I'm going to put uh, a teaspoon of vanilla down in there. Yeah. Smells. Uh oh, divine one got out. Okay. Mm -mm, that smells good. Turn my oven on. Ugh. Okay, that smells wonderful. It should have uh, got my mouth water. Well, I wait till I pull this down in this pie. Now I got my pie crust, and I'm just fixing to pull it. Get all the juice in it. Oh. Get every drop of it out of there. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. Mm. Now, y'all, I, I, you see that? It smells so good, y'all. Hello, Chikara. From Watley, Georgia. Hello, Marlena. Thank you, Marlena, for sharing. Or oh, Marlene. Thank you. To make a meatloaf before I go to town and visit her. <laughs> hey, Hattie, how you doing, girl? That's my friend right there, Hattie Cook. Hey, Misha Parker, Lenora, hello. Okay, now let's... Put our other crust on top of him. Wipe this off. Get my bacon. Okay. Now I tried to tear this uh this uh dough even so I hope I I hope it works. I hope I have enough for a top crust. I tried to tear evening. Hello uh Laura. Who was that say I talked too much? Who was that? I couldn't see that. I don't know. Somebody said I talked too much. Well, you are free to exit. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'm explaining what I do. Uh, so if you don't want to know how to cook or how to make any dish, you are free to leave. Bye. I thank you for coming. You know, people have some nerve, I don't. <laughs> Let me just make this crust. I mean, roll out this dough. Okay. Looks mighty little, y'all, but I hope it's enough. Man, I hope it's enough.
I'm gonna wash it. Let me put some up under this board so it will not rock and roll. Yeah, that's better. Hello, Janice. Hello, Arlene. Well, Arlene, that was all the apples I had, sweetie, so I just used what I had. Ain't nobody but me and my husband. Okay. Oh, I hope this works, y'all. I'm going to have to make it work. Some told me I didn't have enough flour in there, but I just kept on, oops, kept on going. Oh, gosh, I hope I don't. And this don't look like it's going to be enough. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to try to make this work, y'all. Yeah. Uh oh. That's about thin as I can get it. Hello, Janice. Thank you, Anna. I love you too, Anna. Hello, Juanita. You know what, you, I often say, it's going to tear. All things ain't for every, everything is not for everybody, okay? That's the first thing. In a dish, there's more than one way to do it, okay? I don't tell nobody to cook like me. You Cook your food like you want to. I'm just giving you how I do it. And if you want to do it, that's fine. And if you don't want to do it, still fine. We want, we're want we not going to lose sleep or friendship over Okay. Gosh, y'all. This is... Let's see. Oh... Get it over here so y'all can see it. Think it did pretty good. Yeah. And I ain't making no pretty edges, and I barely got enough pie crust for the pie. I take some of that off the edge. And I'm just going around pinching the edges together. That's all I'm doing. Just going around the pan or the plate. Pinching them together. I used to have a pie plate with the edges already fluted and real pretty. I don't know what happened to that pie plate, though. Let me get that. 
Okay. I think that's about got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want to make sure all your edges is together. And I'm doing this now. If you made a big enough pie crust to overlap, you won't have to do this. Well, you'll still need to pinch them, but... Uh, you can make pretty little edges if you got enough crust. I didn't. My crust was just a little short. So I'm having to do this. See, it's always in the kitchen. You can always fix something. Double pork, steak, green beans, baked sweet potatoes, mac and cheese, cornbread, and apple cobbler. Oh, buddy. Oh, at the Vaughn house. Okay. So you eat now. Now. That's how it's looking, yeah. So now what I'm going to do. Is I don't have any uh, what you call pie shields. I don't have any. So what I'm going to do. Um, thank you, Darcel. Hello, Josephine, Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, Brittany. Ah, uh, yes, right now, I can make an egg custard. Okay, like I was saying, I don't have any, uh, pie, uh, edge protectors. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put some foil around mine. Let me get my one egg out, too. Ugh. Y'all, that, uh, that meat is already smelling good. It sure is. And so what you want to do is say, it won't get so brown around the edges. You'll, it won't burn for the first 25 minutes. You're going to uh, leave this on the edges of it so it won't burn. I don't have any power protectors, so any of y'all out there have power protectors, y'all use y'all power protectors. But I don't have any. So I I do this. Okay. Real simple. Already got four, so why not? You know, it don't make sense how crazy some folks be. Imagine coming to somebody's house and telling them how to run their house. Is that not crazy? That's crazy. I'm at home. Oh, boy. Okay. Just some far around the edges. Okay. Now I'm going to beat this egg up and I'm going to paint it across the. It's going to be my egg wash and it's going to go across the top. It's going to be so good with some ice cream. I have some vanilla bean ice cream. Yeah. 
I wish y'all could. Uh oh, that one fell off. I'll get it. Now I got my oven set on 400, and this pie is gonna bake on 400 for 25 minutes. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Okay, one more thing. Sprinkle some sugar. Just a little sugar across the top, that's all. I'm trying to pick it up to show y'all. And that's it. It's going to the oven. Yeah, my thing fell off. That's all. Sit my timer for 25 minutes. Okay, guys, that's it. Pie in the oven. Clean up this mess. This is an easy cleanup, too, with this mat. Real easy. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to let y'all see this sauce. How it's already thickened up. Let me let y'all see it. <clears throat> y'all see that? Don't that look good? Thank you, Susan. Yes, Patricia, absolutely. Thank you, Sandy. Okay. My Kentucky Wonder Beans. Fried corn. So this um, meat 
got to cook for uh, two hours. And uh, that pie is going to, in 25 minutes, I'm going to take that uh, edges off of it and let it cook more. Talk to y'all a few minutes. Hello, Liz. Thank you. Uh-oh. Where am I? Hello, Carol. Thank you for the stars, Carol. Exactly. Patricia, if you think I talk too much, sweetie, go somewhere else. And I won't even be mad with you. Hello, Linda from Covington, Louisiana. Thank you, Big Mo. Hello, Georgia. And people should recognize that. Hello, Anita. I want you to come here. It's everybody might not be where you. Thank you for the stars, Cassandra. Everybody might not be on the same level you, you are in your cooking. Some people might need to hear step by step. So, I, I mean, if, if I talk too much, uh, maybe you can go watch somebody uh, who don't talk as much. Yeah, it is just plain rude. Yeah, Faith, it is crazy. Okay, Liz, you made meatloaf, cabbage, carrots. Ooh, that sounds good. Well, thank you, Maxine. Maxine, I don't. I don't let those comments bother me. Sometimes I see them and I don't respond. But uh, it's real rude. Hello, Jan. I like Bluebell too, Mary. That, uh, that uh, oh, goodness, mercy, Brittany. Become, these comments going by fast. I like bluebell. I got that's what I'm eating some bluebell vanilla bean. You've never seen anyone put foil on their pie crust? Well, uh, they make uh, pie protectors. I don't have any. I had some a long time ago. I don't know where they are now. But four works just as well. Well, Lisa, you're new to the page. Welcome to the page. And I thank you for joining us. And you know some. Yes, I forgot that. Let me go do that right now. I sure forgot. Thank you, Ann. <laughs> I forgot. Thank you so much. Hello, Nancy. Anita. Yes, Brittany, they are. Uh-huh. Uh, you just fold everything up, put it in the... Uh, Yes, Brittany, that's my own barbecue sauce that I made. I don't buy bottle sauces. I like to, which there are some good bottle sauces. I ain't going to say I don't buy bottle sauces because I do buy Sweet Baby Ray's. Uh, I like that one. Thank you, Anna. Uh, hello, Janice. I uh, buy Sweet Baby Ray's, but... Listen, I'm not against at all taking a shortcut in the kitchen. Not at all. I'm not against that. But uh, when I have time to cook, like today, I had time to cook. Thank you, Jacket. Thank you, Nancy. So I cooked. 
I'm not against at all of taking shortcuts. Uh, and and you don't all, always have time to cook from scratch. Thank you, Louise. Well, Loretta, you on the highway to my house. Just come on. Just come on. Thank you, Denise. So, uh, yeah, I don't always have time to um, cook from scratch. Um, I have more time now, now that I'm not working, uh, that I'm retired and I don't have any kids. So I can cook a lot from scratch. I, and, and so uh, that's what I try to do. Uh, no, Darcel, the egg wash is just a beat up egg. Oh, you've, hello, Lisa from Maine. Thank you, Judd. Thank you, Bridget. Oh, I like those can, uh, Kentucky green beans too. They're bigger and more flavorful to me. Well, Barbara, I'm cooking some country-style ribs, some fried corn, some green beans with potatoes. And I made an apple pie. And I got some bluebell vanilla bean ice cream I'm going to have with it. Hello, Kevin from Pittsburgh. Hello, Latanya. Thank you for the stars, Latanya. Barbara, they sure are, but you know what? I have said it on here over and over again. All your negative comments, you can really keep to yourself. I don't care. Yeah, exactly, Misha. I don't care. Anything, I do not. Hello, Internet. Exactly. Hello, Kathy. Exactly. Hello, Carolyn. Thank you for the stars, Denise. No, Darcel. It's just egg wash. Only egg wash. Now, uh, and that's just to make the uh, top shine and crispy and, and uh, brown up. Uh, but I did sprinkle some sugar after I put the egg wash on, I did sprinkle some sugar on. Well, thank you, Wanda. Norlene, the purpose of the egg wash is just to make it crisp up and brown and uh, shiny, just to make it look pretty. Oh, Nancy, well, welcome to the channel. This is your first time watching? Oh, Deandra. Thank you, Nancy. Deandra. Barbara, I'm not going to block them. I'm going to let them keep coming back. Maybe they'll get something out of these uh, videos, you know. I'm not going to block them. Hello, Paula from Georgia. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Vivian. How you doing, Vivian? Exactly, Sharon. I am cooking for me and my family, which today is just me and my husband because my grandson is not here. So, I don't give a care. Hello, Cynthia. I cook northern beans on hot water, cornbread, and pork lender, a tenderloin jacket. What you say? Now, that's good eating. Thank you, Anita. Roasted whole chicken dressing, baked sweet potatoes. Oh, and cabbage, Barbara, that sounds good. But it's so close now. I almost cooked some chicken and dressing today. But it's so close to Thanksgiving. I'm trying not to cook any before Thanksgiving. Come on, Linda. Hello, Janice from Pittsburgh. 
Welcome, Lisa. Welcome to the channel. And welcome all my first-time viewers. I appreciate y'all for coming. Thank you, Maddie. Oh, Crystal, I did have a wonderful, wonderful birthday. God, it's just, I, 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 I just felt so blessed and so special, Lord. I just thank the Lord. I had an amazing birthday. Amazing. Amazing. And I, I just feel so blessed to have such good friends and family. Uh... I, I, I'm blessed beyond measure. I really am. I don't have any complaints. Thank you, Rose. And I give God all the glory. I sure do. Yes, Yolanda, I'm wonderfully blessed. I get, And I give God all the glory. I, You know, I woke up, when I woke up Friday morning, uh, my my son called me to wish me a happy birthday. And I told him, well, son, from here on out, I said, I have reached God's promise. And I did. When you turn 70, you reach God's promise of three scores and ten. So now, anything past that is just a bonus. Now, tell me that ain't a blessing. Good God, that's a blessing. And I just felt so special because I kept uh, God kept his promise to me. Thank you, Barbara. Lisa, you love to cook. I do, too. I do, too. Welcome to the page, uh, Kimberly. I just... You all are some good people because I can't see everybody and you all have been here that are here. Uh, I see y'all welcoming the people to the page. I am so grateful and thankful. Janice, hot water cornbread is really simple. It's only two ingredients. Uh, well, three with the water. But your cornmeal, an egg, and some hot water. Put your black, it, I always cook mines in my cast iron black skillet. Okay, one needle. And uh, you get your skillet. I put it in the oven, get my skillet, and my oil hot. Now, I mix uh, shortening. When I'm making hot water cornbread, I don't use the oil. I use the Crisco. It does better to me. Hello, Pat. Thank you for the stars, Goodman. I use Crisco. I mix Crisco and butter. Now, I can't tell you how much of each one because it depends on how much cornbread you're making. But I mix Crisco and and butter. I put it in the oven, get my skillet real hot. Mix up my meal with my hot water, and that is it. Now, I do put a, a little sugar in it because we like sweet bread. Well, welcome to the channel, Victoria. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're among friends and good people, and you'll get some good recipes. Darcel, exactly. You're never too old to learn. Barbara, that apple pie do smell good. Uh, and that's it to the hot water cornbread and put it in the oven. Well, Cindy from West Virginia, welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're among friends. You'll get good recipes, good conversation, positive vibes only. Angie, welcome to the channel. Positive vibes only. DeAndra, welcome. Uh, yes, Carla, some people are. 
Oh, well, thank you, Shawana. Uh, Barbara, my husband do the ribs. Now he, he, uh, he do the barbecue and I don't. Barbecue pork chiquita at church, that sounds good. But he do his ribs pretty much the way I just did these. He puts the mustard on them and he puts his rub, his rub that he makes. Uh, he puts them on them and, uh, and that's it. And mm -hmm. grill them, he likes to cook them. Uh, he likes to cook them, uh, low and slow. That's how he cooks his ribs. And, oh, and they're so good and they fall off the bone. His ribs are so good. Uh, Laura, I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. Very good. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. What? what I well, you know that's that pie. Well, the no, that ain't that pie. I smell the ribs. Oh, you smell the ribs? Oh, I that's see. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Uh huh. I got your Pepsi in the truck. Nah. Exactly, Carol. Who cares what they say? Ha 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 ha. Jokes on you, cause I don't care. That's why I'm not gonna block them. Keep coming on back. Keep coming on back. Keep saying what you want to say. I don't care. Well, thank you, Polly. Thank you, Elaine. I Thank you for my birthday wish. Uh, Gail, you and Bojangles drive through. Girl, well, I wish you could drive on through here. I'm also a first-time viewer from West Virginia. Well, welcome, Janice. Welcome to the channel. I'm so happy to have you. It's barbecue sauce I'm smelling at. Yeah, that's the bar that's, that's that barbecue sauce she's smelling. Uh no Laura, I've never had cornbread cookies. Never even heard of them. Send me the recipe. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Alvinia. Thank you for the birthday wish. So yeah, what ingredients I use uh, for my meatloaf, Shawana? I use um, onions, bell peppers, eggs, breadcrumbs, and ketchup. That's it. Thank you, Pam. Oh, thank you, Lori. Yep, that's it. So easy. Thank you, Ruth, for the birthday wish. Thank you, Laura. I'm glad you found me, too. Welcome to the channel. Gosh, y'all, we got a lot of new folk on here. Y'all help some of my old-timers. Help me welcome all of the newbies to the channel. I thank y'all. It's two folks here want to come up. Do somebody want to come up? Anybody want to come up? Let me see who this is. Zelfa Lamar, you want to come up? Let me see. Okay, Zelfa. I'm adding you on. Well, thank you, Anna. Thank you so much, Anna. Hello, Jackie. How are you today? Hello, Linda. Thank you for the stars, Linda. Thank you.
Hello, Zephyr. How are you? Am well, I pronouncing the name right? You did. How are you? Where are you from? I am from Lexington, Mississippi. Oh, you pretty close to me. How That's, how is the weather there? Well, it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful today. Uh, yeah, we and have a I beautiful have, day. Now, I have been actually watching your show for about a month now. Oh, okay. I, and but. I am from Mississippi. They say I can cook. I am happy to meet you. I see your name all the time. I answer you a lot. Yes. I sure do. I see your name all the time. You know what I call you? Oh, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. Oh, can you hear me? I can hear you now, but you you're going in and out. You, and, but you know what my nickname for you is, what? Lady in Red. That is your <laughs> color. That's that your color. color. You look beautiful in red. That is absolutely my favorite color. Is red. uh huh. And Lady in Red. It is. It looks beautiful on you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I if my daughter was visiting me from Atlanta this week. I introduced her to you. Well, thank you. And she was saying, Mama, she looks like she cooks just like you. I said some of the very same recipes and how she does, I do right here in Mississippi. Well, we learned around the same time. We were learning around the same time. That is exactly right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to know that, look, yeah, uh, I work, I, I, um, I, you oh, okay. What? And keep on moving. Don't. Well, I really appreciate it. And thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, love. I love you. Okay. Well, I love you, darling. I y'all, my stove going off, so it's now time for me to take the edges off the pie. So I love you. It's so nice talking to you, and thank you for your support and watching me. Uh. Oh, boy. Okay, guys, my uh, stove is in here going off. It's time for me to go take the edges off the pie crust. And uh, <clears throat> thank you, Linda, and thank you for the stars. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm fixing to go in here and take the... Um, Y'all hear it. Take the edges off the pie crust. And when everything, when the meat get done and the pie get done and everything is all done, uh, I'm going to be back. So I'll see y'all in a little while. I love y'all. Give me some thumbs up, some hearts, 
And if you care, you know what to do because sharing is, caring is. So I love y'all. And until next time, love, peace, and blessings. Bye-bye, y'all. Love y'all. This stove is going crazy. <laughs>